Hi, everybody. I wanted to talk today about feedback or criticism coming into us and how that can make us feel and how it can be a, an opening space for, for a greater truth, greater learning, um, greater capacity. And I got a good example that happened to me yesterday. Um, it was on a video, I, ironically, it was on a video in which I was talking about someone who basically was telling me um, to F off, that they hated what I was saying, um, that, yeah, it was F you, Claire, really. And I, was, it was, I did a video looking at that. And then someone has commented on that video saying, with respect, there are not that many people following your channel despite the number of videos on offer. The reason is that there is no real gnosis, which means um, spiritual understanding or realization here. It is just the usual philosophizing and deconstructing, which isn't going to help ordinary people in their struggle. You don't have the soulful depth, psychological perspective, nor a real knowing of consciousness that would embrace their humanity and open the way to a real gnosis. That's clear energetically. You're offering a kind of flat deconstruction of mind or thoughts with the false premise that an ongoing dismantling and giving up of the mind is going to bring freedom. It won't. Right. So there we go. So I read this just like literally just as I'm about to go to sleep. Um, and a, a, immediately an intense reaction came like, oh, <laughs> like a thud in the stomach, like a, the, my breath sort of went, um, everything tensed up. And, and so that immediately for all of us is a sign that there is something here that is, is of interest to, in terms of the conditioning, in terms of the, of, of what needs to be protected, in terms of what looks to be at stake in terms of what we might um, try and withdraw from. And so I thought we could use this as an example of really what we're looking at in the them course at the moment of, of, of this sort of tightrope walk that we walk as, as a sort of identified human being on the path to, to greater understanding of what's true. So there's this tightrope walk and on one side of it is re-traumatization. And that means that the, the reality that's experienced is taken at face value and it's taken as, um, <clears throat> well, it's face value. There's no question. So I, I read this um, comment and everything's true in it or it's, it's reconfirming my worst fears. It's, it's um, evidence that all my most inner shame is, is justified. I'm, I'm wrong, I'm false, I'm inadequate, I'm energetically not enough. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about that's that's the sort of that's the re-traumatizing place where this could go and it's re-traumatizing because what what would be going on if if that happens is that those fears shames um needs inadequacies limitation sense of lack sense of unworthiness that has been built in within the conditioning projects itself onto this so yes there are these words coming in but the the way those words are are received what what the universe that is created around those words the um the reaction to them the the meaning of them all the associations all the implications the the views of the future the the views of what other people other people must be thinking all of that is re-traumatizing 
that inner conditioning. Do you see that? So that's one place for the where we can fall off this tightrope. Reality at face value, at no question, and self identity at face value, no question. And and so our lives lived that way are are just a spiraling, really a spiraling down of um of of a of a greater and or a more and more fragile identity that needs greater and greater protection and so we could easily see from from that re-traumatizing space that could be it you know i'm i'm gonna give up no no videos no no more work um i can't do this we can easily see it and and it's not really coming from out there it's that's coming from within us it's it's a projection out that re-traumatizes, reconfirms, and 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 means that the the mind, the existence, the experience is 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 stuck in this ongoing hall of mirrors, really. So that's one way off this tightrope. The other way is bypass. And this can happen when so these words are read deep feeling of of um intense separation of of inadequacy of lack all of it that those feelings are intolerable the shame in it so much so much shame available in in those words um and to so what what now is it like a scramble is to get rid of that get rid of those feelings and so the whole mind body system can be can sort of activate in terms of maybe numbing you know maybe i you know just have to start sort of scrolling other places or um drink something or have sex or do anything that is going to get my mind off that suffering going to it's going to do anything to sort of detach from the from the physical sensations i could bypass it in terms of completely dismissing that criticism also so easy and 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 so easy in this conversation to do that you know that we we say um it's just their thinking that's that's their problem that's their view of reality um or we could really like sort of denigrate this person you know what what do they know that what have they done what you know who do they think they are they know nothing about me um so we can really dismiss them so in order to elevate back up this destroyed identity well no sort of hype hyper um lacking identity we we can push the other person down psychologically really detach from them undermine them dismiss them we can use spiritual bypass so we can use concepts that you know they're all of this is a dream he's not real or she's not real um i'm i'm not real you know none of this is true it's all just imagined but that that bypass doesn't do anything doesn't do anything in terms of this inner conviction of lack it just keeps it all in place it 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 prevents the feelings being felt that would that are now sort of pressing to be felt really the these shame and fear and insecurity are 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 there now to be felt and bypass so deeply unhealthy is 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 saying really i don't have the capacity to deal with this i don't have the capacity to deal with it emotionally and there's no capacity psychologically there's no capacity spiritually so it has to go away so that's the two sides of this of this tightrope unquestioned belief i'm just lost in this experience it's just re-traumatizing or and questioning pushing away like numbing blanking out or lost deep within it two sides and we can see ne neither both 
create their own spirals, both create their own behaviors of, of release and, and escape and, and addiction, deeply unhealthy. So our tightrope walk is leading us towards freedom. And, and as I see it, it's based on three things. So the first thing is healing, above all healing. Um, because every way reality appears is a, can't be any other way, it is a projection from what's been learned, even, you know, just the, the word that comes to mind to identify something, cupboard, table, book, cup, learned, learned, and then the concept that goes around that, the associations, the, the emotional experience. And if we consider that this, this view, when, when this view of ourselves as separate from a, a distinct and separate world, when that is really at play and when this this self of me is 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 really has to be protected is really vulnerable is really fragile it's because that that um that 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 concept that psychological representation of what i am that sort of believed embodied idea of what I am was formed through um, through experiences of insecurity, experiences in which needs weren't met, experiences in which there were intense emotions that weren't able to be processed, experiences in which um, we, we learned how shameful we are, how wrong we are, this, this deep deep wrongness within us and and so any experience in which there is that reaction of um separation and and stress and protection defense life and death really means that there is healing to happen it's uh, so important um and the healing takes the form of integration of of that emotional charge primarily the sort of the physical sensation the allowing of the physical sensation it wasn't there wasn't capacity for it before and we can see with this tightrope with bypass and re-traumatization in some areas there might still not be capacity and that's that's fine that's just how it is this is the the journey that we're on there's when there's readiness to really have so so shame comes in say and and shame really i think is the is the fundamental emotion of separation because it's the fundamental belief in myself as as the doer as the um as as a separate entity that's responsible for how i am you know all that that whole list of criticism from that person the shame that I'm I'm the shame that I'm that that's being described as though as though there's something in here that could control that. And so shame is intensely hideous to feel. It's the lowest vibrational emotion. Um, and it needs to be felt. It needs to be allowed to move through. And at the same time, as part of the healing, there can be this real which comes on to our second aspect, actually, inquiry, like deep, open, genuine inquiry. What, what is it? What is that I that is feeling shame right now? What is the I that is this, this psychological experience or physical experience of separation of a, a, separate entity that could actually change um how 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 it's how it is <laughs> when when everything has been learned when 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 all behavior is coming from beliefs from from conditioning from learning 
it's um there isn't there is not a separate i doing any of this and an inquiry deep inquiry with no agenda starts to really open the doors to that and and that is is where that that combination of healing and inquiry is is really the start of of true sanity i would say true freedom begins there and that's not enough on its own because what is needed as well in this in this triad is a an intimacy and an engagement um that comes from the ultimate truth that the way everything appears is a product of a learned system and that learned system from from sanity can change can upgrade really if, if, if it's you know if we consider that everything the way everything appears is a product of learning and there is constant fresh information available it makes absolute sense for this essentially learning system which is all it is really it's a it's a it's a physical form that is seamlessly involved in its environment and the more open it is to upgrade with fresh information with real time information the more it will flourish in now because if you know really what's going on with conditioning is that the past is running the show the child is making the decisions is is having the reactions and that means that it the body mind isn't operating in current reality it's operating in past reality and projecting that onto this moment now and it can't flourish that way because none none of this none of the information it's perceiving is actually happening but when when we look when when the whole system starts coming into actual source accountability this is this is all a product of what's learned of of my behavior of uh when i say my of, of this body mind's behavior of um of of belief and and conditioning and um everything that's been absorbed and and embodied so now so now there's a what what is here to be seen what what information is here that is useful what's even even if it's very hard to hear what what actually resonates here with what with what's being said and this is this is a very humble space to be it's it's an impossible space to be, I would say, when the, when the identity is, is really fragile, when it's really under threat, um, when it really looks like life and death, it, it, that, that opening to, to seeing if, if there's something true in this criticism is very hard to do. Um, but, but bit by bit, as capacity expands, we can really just read things and and this now now there's now this is a really cool place because there there might be things in there that actually are true and yes i there, there is a lot in what this person is saying is true um like it's um yeah i don't have the soulful depth psychological perspective nor or real knowing of consciousness that would embrace their humanity and open the way to a real gnosis that's clear energetically that is something that i know is true because i i look at the teachers that i most admire and i see i see in them the that freedom of mind that absolute um 
absolute lack really lack of of wounds really these and the people i most admire are the ones who've described their their journey through um through healing really through through accountability um and i'm i i i totally recognize that there's there's layers within me of, of defense and protection and and that the the work I do, the, the videos I put out are are really um yeah, for myself as much as anyone else, really, really to see how conditioning of lack plays out. And um and so yeah, I I can recognize it. I recognize what this person is saying. And, and it doesn't mean, and this, this, I think is very like, this is a freedom now is that it, it's, um, it can be recognized and there can be this sort of deep inner, it's okay. You know, that's all right. That that's like that, that that's part of this exploration. It's part of the, the honesty. Um, and then this last point, um, um, you're offering a kind of flat deconstruction of mind or thoughts with the false premise that an ongoing dismantling and giving up of the mind is going to bring freedom. It won't. That last point now I can completely disagree with because it will. And I've, and I've, and it's not, it's not a flat deconstruction. It's, it's a, it's a living, alive, organic, um, a, amazing miracle inquiry into the actual truth of existence. And it's the only thing that brings freedom. It's the only thing that brings truth and sanity. And so, and so this, so now, so now there's just this sort of, uh, living, interesting interaction with these words that have come in. They, they, they can do so much in terms of our own reaction to them is a, is a very powerful um, place to start when, when there's the capacity to do so. Um, and so, so thank you to this person. Um, and, and I would say for all of us, the, 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 the movement out into the world, um, the, the, the raising of our own voice, the, the speaking, the, the inquiry into what looks true for us or the, or the creation of um, materials and offerings that, that have come from within us will invite criticism. It w and it will invite information. Information is, is, is really what we want, really. That's the whole purpose for putting stuff out is to get information that, that continually hones the offering. There's a continual thought, is that true? Yes, okay, great. Then that's an upgrade in learning. Does it, does it, is it true? Not really. And you know, I really fundamentally don't agree with what they're saying great then it it's it's a it's a stability it's like a it's being questioned and no this is this is looks to me still very true and so that movement out into the world which is part of our spiritual journey will invite information back in and that's and that's again is part of the healing is part of our inquiry and it's part of the the upgrade of of what we're saying, what we're doing, what we're creating. So yes, it might be horrible, really horrible to have those emotions, shame, fear, insecurity, need, and awesome, awesome that we have them. Awesome that they, they are signposts along the way to a greater and greater truth and that they can start to make visible this tightrope walk of re-traumatization on the one side and bypass on the other, and that we can just keep going, allowing healing, allowing inquiry 
allowing accountability to continually um, draw us through into into sanity. Yeah, so <laughs> there we go. Lots of love to you. Bye.